Hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply that vintage distressed or grunge effect on your designs inside Affinity Designer. Now I will be sharing with you two methods and both of me these methods are simple but uh, they both have a different uses. So I'll also share with you which one you should use um, in which cases. So make sure that you watch the video till the end. I have this design open in Affinity Designer and there are actually two scenarios or two ways in which you can apply the distressed effects or distressed textures in for your designs inside Affinity Designer. The first scenario is that if you have a distressed texture, a grunge texture, a vintage texture in the form of a vector file, in the form of you know maybe Adobe Illustrator file, an EPS file, or maybe in Affinity Designer format, but it is actually a vector file. The other case is that if you don't have any kind of vector texture, you might have a texture inside, uh, maybe in the form of JPEG, maybe in the form of a PNG, or maybe you don't have any kind of texture at all. So you can just simply go uh, outside, take a picture with your phone of any wall, grunge texture, grunge surface, maybe a rusted um, metal sheet, something like that. So you can use that sheet, use that, actually use that image for that texture to apply that grunge uh, effect inside this Affinity Designer. And I will show you both of those uh, scenarios in this um, tutorial. So first of all, uh, let uh, me show you how you can apply a distress texture if you have a vector texture a vector file so let me open up a vector texture file so i have this vector texture file open and there are different textures in this one i can uh, i'll be using one of these so i'll just uh, uh, select one of these uh, maybe i'll just select this one and um, uh, you know just copy it control c and control v inside our design now before I apply this texture, I have to resize it properly so that it covers all of my the design area. Now the best thing about the vector texture is that you can easily deform it. It doesn't matter. It is a vector file. So it will not cause any kind of problem. So I have this texture applied now. Uh, I should not apply it, just placed inside this design file. Now another thing that you need to uh, have in mind is that you need to have all of your design elements. Uh, on which you want to apply that texture inside a group so do not um, keep them in separate layers place all of these layers inside a group so uh, i have already made a video about which in which i have covered the basics of infinity designer so make sure that you watch that if you are not familiar with these groups layers and all of different features of this uh, uh, software i'll put the link in the card above so you can easily check that out as well i have this texture layer placed at the top so now the texture is in white color but we need to convert it into black because I'm going to make a mask uh, with this texture and the properties of the mask are is that if any color if uh, any part of the mask is white then it will show up the layer behind it so anything behind the white area will show up and anything behind the black area will not show up so we need to uh, convert this uh, texture into black color so I'll simply select the layer at the top uh, left corner there is a fill option I'll select that and I'll just select the black color now that I have selected the black color now I need to oh, you know uh, convert it into a mask so, and simple is that you can uh, select the curves layer the texture layer right click and then there is uh, with the, there will be an option here that is called mask to below so i'll just select this mask to below and the mask is selected now the problem is that wherever the black area was the black parts are they are now showing but other uh, other areas other uh, part of the design are not showing so uh, let me show you how you can uh, easily uh, fix that situation so again uh, you know just click this uh, rectangle and actually triangle and select this curve layer which is actually a mask layer so i'll select this mask curve layer i'll go to the pen tool now in the pen tool uh, you have to select at the top there is an option this one this one add new curves to the selected curve make sure that you have this option selected add new curve to the selected curves now i am going to create a simple box a simple triangle rectangular shape uh, around a whole of my document so i'll just click here click here click here click here and then click here now the thing is that i need to convert it into white so let me just convert this whole thing into a white 
this rectangular shape that I have just created so now it has done what it does is that now the white area that I have just created the white rectangular shape is going to uh, help me is going to show up the layer behind it so the design elements which are under that white area are now showing up and the design elements which are under this those black areas are not showing up so if I zoom in you can easily see that our texture is perfectly applied and other thing if I just hide this behind background color you can easily see that texture is applied and those transparent areas are now showing now you can easily change the background color if I want to you know see it if it is perfectly applied or not so let me change it and you can easily see that the texture is applied the background color is showing so if it is applied on any particular kind of t-shirt that t-shirt color will show up on those areas now this is one of the method in which you can apply the texture in case you have a vector uh, graphics file vector texture file what if you don't have those uh, those vector graphics vector textures file you just have an image of maybe of wall or concrete something grunge looking metal rusted metal so in that case let me show you what you can do okay now uh, i have this image open inside of it and i just took it outside somewhere uh, i looked at there was this big uh, door and there was this uh, you know good looking some kind of texture effect so i just took the picture and then you uh, uh, if you have to uh, take a similar kind of picture you can use these and if you don't have any if you live in an area where you cannot easily find these kind of textures what you can do is that you can go to this website called unsplash.com and you can find plenty of free textures free available uh, images which you can use as a texture and in, in fact at the top you can see hey, that there is another option they have already you know tab here that is textures and pattern and if you click here you will find different texture which you can use uh, for your uh, you know grunge effects and uh, for example this concrete wall texture this is going to be uh, really good if you convert it into uh, that uh, you know texture effect a uh, grunge effect so uh, you can use images from this uh, website as well so now that i have this designed open and what i can uh, what i have to do is that I have to apply some kind of effects on this one before I use it as a mask so the first thing is that I need to convert it into black and white that is simple so oh, I'll just convert it into uh, apply a black and white filter I'll convert it into black and white right and uh, you know just adjust these bars uh, as you know like according to your requirements and according to your new on image and texture so i'll just uh, now there are two ways you can apply this effect the one is that if you have adjusted these uh, levels and then you can press this uh, x icon and close it and it will apply it as an adjustment layer so we don't want it as an adjustment layer we just want to merge it so i'll just click merge now another um you can say that i have to apply an other effect here and that effect is really really important you can simply use these uh, this uh, as well but uh, i wouldn't recommend it so this next effect is highly important and why you need to apply it i have already created a separate video on uh, which i have covered this topic so so i'll uh, put the link in the card above make sure that you watch that video because this is highly important and this next effect so the next effect is that in another adjustment layer at the bottom here in the layers panel i need to apply is that threshold effect and that is here under the shadows and light so the threshold effect what this does is that it converts your images into simple two colors pure black and pure white nothing in it no gray areas in between so that is highly important so i can uh, adjust this slider so that um, i can uh, you know uh, find a position where i like my texture so I, I don't want it to be too much you know dark something like that too much grunge effect uh, i think i like it about something like this i think this is better maybe this one yeah uh, this is much better so i'll just again merge it now next step is to you know we need to remove these white areas from this we just want this, these black areas we don't want any white areas in this one in fact i have uh, previously made a video of applying this kind of uh, using images using texture inside photoshop and in uh, adobe illustrator as well so if you are interested in that make sure that you watch that video as well you can find the link in the card above so uh, let's just remove that uh, white area from this one in order to remove that white area we need to select that layer and then go to this 
pixel persona and we are actually in a designer persona currently but we need to go into the pixel persona so i'll just select this at the top left this at these square shapes icon so i'll go to the pixel persona and then i'll go to the select and then tonal range and then i'll select the highlight so it selects all of these highlights now the previous effect that we have just applied that is uh, the threshold effect what it did is that it's converted our image into two basic colors black and pure white so that is how important if we had not applied that you know black and threshold effect we might had uh, actually we should, uh, must have had uh, some gray areas in it and that would have caused some problems uh, in this uh, step so we have now selected all of these white areas now simply press delete and all of these white areas are gone now uh, now press control or command d to deselect everything now everything is deselected we can now simply press control c and control v to copy this texture and paste it inside our design file and actually let's just remove the texture which we have previously applied so i'll press control z a couple of times you know just to uh, remove the texture that we have uh, the vector texture that we had already applied so let's hide that vector texture for now and now control v to apply that texture that uh, image texture that we have just created now it is a bit harsh i i wouldn't like it uh, that much uh, this texture is too much you know it has too much uh, these uh, blob big black areas so i might select uh, select a different image uh, depending upon your uh, you know what you have so always try to find out which has some kind of subtle effect not this uh, kind of you can say that harsh effect so i'll just uh, select this here and uh, maybe move it here so that we are not covered by any kind of harsh elements okay but the basic concept you understand that you need to uh, cover your image complete design elements with some of uh, these uh, elements and uh, that looks fine now the uh, next step is that you select that layer that texture layer that you have just uh, you know pasted here and bring it above the design that you have uh, that you want your texture to be applied the next thing is that we go to the this uh, at the top of the layers panel there is an opacity option and then there is the option the blending options so in the blending option i'll scroll down at the bottom and then there is an erase option i'll select erase now what texture is applied on this our grunge effect is applied on our design now now you might say what is the difference between this and, and the previous one the vector uh, texture that we have applied and let me show you the, what it means so i'll select unhide this background layer so now you can easily see that now this texture that we have applied it is actually hiding everything behind it everything that is behind uh, below it below it so all of the layers that are below it it is hiding uh, actually when we are exporting it we do not uh, need any kind of background so it is fine uh, if we are just exporting the design in the form of png image but i don't want uh, you know this is a pretty harsh texture uh, make sure that you don't have uh, the texture that is such a pretty harsh texture you have an image that has some subtle uh, these dots and effects as i already had this vector texture let me show you the difference that I have in fact you can also uh, use this vector file and use these blend options to erase it but again you can see that it has also affecting the layers behind it the background if you might have so um, let's say uh, you have applied uh, you, this texture in the in the form of this layer blending options the, the problem occurs is that let's say i have uh, this circle behind it i just want to uh, you know uh, make a color appear in these text uh, these grunge areas i do not want the shared colors or the fabric colors to appear from it because if i applied it maybe on a maybe light color shirt or something like that that wouldn't like look good so let's say uh, i have a you know circle uh, that i want it behind it you know simply circle and then I'll just place it here so i want this black circle you know to appear, appear uh, you can say that black area to appear uh, from uh, this particular area now the thing is that if i have applied this in the form of these blend uh, blend layers layer options it is affecting everything behind it so it means that if i want 
the black area to show up in this area this circular area i cannot do it so for that purpose as i already shared, uh, told you you need to apply it in the form of that mask that i have previously covered so if i just uh, uh, place it uh, above this design area and i'll just go to the, again go to this and mask below and then simply uh, select this uh, mask and then uh, I'll just select the pen tool, make sure that uh, add this option is selected, add new curve to the selected curves. I'll just simply again create that mask. So now the mask is created. And now you can see that our texture is applied on all of this design, but we wanted our black color to appear in this circular area. So it, uh, when I select this background color, so no matter which t-shirt color I use, maybe white color or something that black area that i wanted to show up in this uh, circular inside this uh, circular design element that will show up inside it it will the t-shirt color will not show up inside the t-shirt will color will show up on other areas in which i have not, i you know did not select the black color to appear so now you can uh, easily understand the difference between these uh, applying the texture in the form of mask if you have a, a vector texture and that applying the texture in the form of those blending options so uh, i wanted to share uh, both of these uh, uh, you can say methods uh, with you so that uh, you can apply it according to your requirements now in my previous video i had requested to you know subscribe to this channel because actually 94 percent of the uh, viewers of this channel were not subscribed and uh, thanks for the new subscriber and uh, now i have 92.8 percent of the viewers that are not subscribed so it has actually dropped a little bit and uh, the reason i want uh, you to subscribe to this channel is that i share different tips and strategies on design and print on demand business on earning a decent passive income online and uh, creating these videos creating this content requires uh, some time actually a considerable amount of time and currently i have 410 subscribers and 1049 watch hours now youtube does not allow this channel to monetize because it requires 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours now i have not reached that threshold now if you have found this video to be helpful if you have found these tips and these this content to be helpful make sure that you support this channel by pressing that subscribe button and also pressing that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well now if you subscribe to this channel it encourages me to make more content to share more tips with you now if you have liked these tips make sure that you like the video as well and thank you for watching